So I'm going to show you how to do a stitch painting. I'm just copying this image from Google. You can pick whichever image you'd like. I'm actually going to be doing the acrylic painting on, I believe this is an 8 by 10 canvas. I'm just pulling it over to Word to print it. I'm going to make it quite large. I'm going to have to... There we go. Now we move it up. Now you have to cut it. So I cut or crop it. Crop the image. Okay, that. So that way when I'm pulling it. too big. There we go. Probably pull it down a little bit more. And then when I print it, oh, I've got it on landscape, that's why. Chloe, settle down, please. That's my daughter. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So we go to print, we can see his feet are a little cut off. Maybe we can adjust the margins to narrow. We just have to pull them to the right a little bit. Let's see if that works. Yep, so he's all in there. We'll print him. And I'm using a piece of cardstock. Oh, I should have made it. I should have made it a draft print. Do that now because it just saved me. So let's do print. We go to print properties. We can select draft so it'll use less ink. And print. Yes. So now that it is printed, I'm going to cut this out. I think you can see it. There we go. I'll put it right here. So I'm just going to. You could use regular scissors. You don't have to use an exacto knife. This is just going to be used on our acrylic painting. This 
is like a trace. Oops. our final little cutout. All right, so now we can take this, just place it where we'd like. Just outlining, just with a pencil. So that's going to be our base, and then we can get some fun colors. I want to do some purple, glowy, um, with some pink, and orange and yellow. out my colors. Alright, so colors are out and then for the water we're going to need some blue and we can blend in those other colors. So I'm going to do get this blue out now. take a, I'm going to take my smaller mop brush, so it's just like a really thick brush. I'm going to start with the yellow, and I'm just going to go where the water is going to be. So I'm going to put the water about right here. Oh, I'm going to games. Go up a little bit. You are. Then we'll do the orange. Blend the orange into the yellow, and then the pink. And the purple. I'm going to throw some more pink. Okay. And then with the blue, we can go ahead and clean off our brush. 
And I like that the color's still showing through because that's going to help me with my outline. Well, maybe you won't have to re-outline. I'm going to go ahead and do the blue down here. This is going to be our water. You're tracing letters, good job. All right, so down here, we're probably gonna have to go back through and re-outline our little stitch. Okay. Let's see if we can do a little bit of I'm going to try this with a fan brush, see how this turns out. Let's put some orange. Okay. I don't hate it. I'm going to clean it off because my blue is still wet. So I'm going to have to go back through and do this a couple times. And then with my yellow, I'm just gonna start from the bottom here, go up. Oops. dry and then we can do some more. There we go. Not like it. Looks pretty. So go ahead and throw a fan on this for about 10 minutes and then I will see you back. All right it's nice and dry and I want to do the outline first before we move on to the um, fix in the water a little bit just because I want to see how it's gonna look. I don't want to be anxious so I'm just going to cover this back up really quick. For the outside, we're going to take some black, just start by outlining. I'm trying to cover up the original line. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed in my house. Good night.
doesn't really work. Huh? Hey, two horsies! I'm a lot. Those two horsies riding around each other. I know, it's With a carousel painting. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. But why are the horses blurry? Because it's a painting. Somebody painted that. Oh. Just like mommy paints. That's a huge painting. I mean, really, it's ginormous. Like, now I have to, like, go to my house and climb up my ladder to fix my mouse. I'm going to do the little Oh, Mama, this is my ladder. It's your ladder? Yep. I my own ladder. Please be careful, my stuff is down there, honey. My shoes and then get out. Oh, it's raining! I'm going to my home. So I'm just filling all of this in and outlining. I know you're always hungry, but you never eat what I give you. Next, I like to save it. I like to save my food for later. Mm -hmm. Chloe. Oh, can you make me something to eat? <laughs> sure can. So there's our outline. So now we just fill the rest in with black. No, you're not. Oh. You can go upstairs and get new shorts. So go get some other shorts. Then we don't have to take it off. Upstairs, once you have shorts ready to go. I want to keep this on. Okay. Just one little corner, and then I would even paint the edges. So I'll go back through and paint around all the sides.
So we're going to let this dry. And then we're going to add some stars and stuff. So let's throw this one in front, back in front of the fan for about 10 minutes. See you guys in 10 minutes. All right, it's nice and dry. So for the next part, we're actually going to lay this nice and flat. Take this hand away. Right. And then move my coffee. So this is laid nice and flat. I missed the bottom here. We're going to take our silhouette because we don't want our stars to get on there. Let's see, I don't really have much that's heavy. I have a couple little rocks in here. What else can we use? So we're going to need some white paint. Not much. And then you want to get your brush wet. No. No. That's really cute. But she's awake, but the boys aren't there to sleep. Okay. Hey. And I just I dabbed not, on like, some like, white paint. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking a second brush to kind of help tap it. And I'm going to tap it off a couple times and then bring it back over. And you can add some more water and some more paint. I don't want big stars necessarily, but a couple isn't bad. I like the little clusters. So we can add some more. There we go. Got a couple bigger stars. And you can always come back through too with a detailed brush. So I'll do that now actually. So I have this teeny tiny detail brush. We can add some bigger stars on this side. Could always do a shooting star too. So for the shooting star, And then we take this away. We're left with a really cute stitch painting. And you can, of course, always add in um, a planet or something. What do we think? And then before I had said adding some effects to the water. So what I was thinking taking this yellow with maybe a little white just kind of we start from the bottom Give it a little something else. Yeah. And then I wanted to take the original yellow. Lighten that out a little more. And if we wanted to get really technical, we could take an owl. 
don't line the beach seam into the bottom. She's not in the movie? Yeah. Oh, she must just be in the book. That's okay. And she's with the... Marie, she was my... She's with Marie. See, Marie? Oh, we she, love Marie. She's with Marie. Oh. They look more beachy. A little less spot on. A little more... Wavy, there we go. So now let's do our little beachy stuff. Some of this up here. Let's go back in with some blue. Take some of this out. It's a little much. Well, that's pretty cute. So I hope you guys followed along with this and you really like it. I'm going to... Oops, maybe not. I'm just going to finish off the side here. And I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did and you want to watch some more, I'm going to try to recreate all of my spray paintings into acrylic paintings for you guys. That way you can try them at home. And just comment below and tell me what you think. Which one should I do next? Alright, I hope you loved it.